Hello, welcome to Felts by Philippa. Today we're going to make this really cute Herdwick sheep. We are going to need white carded wool, grey carded wool, two eyes, and I also forgot a little tiny bit of black for the mouth and nose. So let's get started. We're going to take some white wool, we're going to roll it up nice and tight, fold in the ends, and then you start needle felting it. It's going to be a bit of a, a sort of a tube shape. It's about four inches in length, and this is going to be the main body of the Herdwick. So I sort of needle felt either end, and then start going all around the outside. There we go, just checking the length, four inches in length. And this is what we're gonna attach the gray wool to later. So we need it to be quite firm, but it doesn't have to look too neat or too perfect. There we go, I think it's just about finished. Next we're going to do the legs. Now they're about two inches in length and I like to do them by wrapping a bit of white carded wool around a piece of wire. It just helps to keep them nice and straight and give me a good shape. And you start needle felting and then once you're fairly happy it's quite secure and firm then we're going to take the wire out so they're not going to be left with wire in them. But it just helps to get the shape. When you're trying to do the feet at the end, I needle felt upwards and that helps to give a nice flat base. So here I am twisting and rolling just to try and get a nice shape all around the leg. Slide the wire out and then needle felt it some more so it's nice and firm and there we go. So we need three more of them, ta-da! Don't worry if they're not all exactly the same length, it's absolutely fine when we attach them we'll make sure they're all level. Next we're going to do the head. So again take a small bundle of white wool, roll it nice and firm and then start felting. The tighter you roll it the less you're going to have to felt it, so it helps. The entire head is about two inches in length but what I like to do is um, I leave a little bit of fluff at the back loose and that's what I um, attach it with to the main body. It just makes life a lot easier and it's a lot easier to hold it as well. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. So you just add wool onto the top and off you go again, needle felting it in. This is going to be all visible so you want it to look quite neat and tidy. So we're going to attach it to the body, hold it where you want it and then all that loose fluff at the back, start attaching it with that and then I find it really helps to turn it upside down and then you can press down a little bit firmer or I'm trying to hold it there with my hands at the exact position I want it but be really careful because this is when you're more likely to stab yourself and you go all the way through. If it's the wrong position you can literally pull it off and start again, wool is very forgiving. So the plastic eyes I bought online, they're three millimetre, so they're quite small. Get the needle and try and work out your placement. You can push the needle all the way through level to the other side so that you know your eyes are going to be level. That's a little um, eye stabber I bought online which makes life a little bit easier. It makes the hole a bit bigger. So put the eyes in without any glue at first to check you're happy. And we're just tidying up the face there. So I'm happy with the eyes and then we're going to glue them in. So I pull them out, I put the um, needle stabber in place because quite easily, quite often you lose the hole. I uh, put glue on the end, whatever glue, it doesn't matter, and then just push them in. First one went in really well, I think the second one was a bit tricky. 
If it doesn't go in smoothly, take it out and start again. There we go. Next we're going to do the mouth and nose. So you take a little, it literally is a tiny bit of black wool, roll it or twist it and then hold either end across where the mouth is going to be and needle felt either edge first and then very gently go along the actual line. Try not to over needle felt at this point because it will look really obvious um, and if there's any stray bits, any little tiny bits of black just standing out then just cut them off. Do not spend ages needle felting them in. And here we are doing the top bit which is a parallel line but it's a little bit shorter and this is the nose. So same thing, either end and then across the middle and tidy up. And then we're gonna do a line joining them, which makes all the difference, otherwise it doesn't look quite right. So hold it downwards and then needle felt either end and um, tidy it up. Like I said, just get the scissors and trim any long bits off. Do not spend ages needle felting them in. And that's his mouth and nose. Gives him the character. So we're going to do the ears next. So you take a small bundle of white wool, fold it over several times, and it's almost like a semicircular circular shape. And to get the edges, I tend to just fold bits over slightly, again and again, and then turn it over, turn it over. And once you're happy, I then fold them in half so they've got a bit of an ear shape and attach to the back of the head. Now this part here where you attach at the back is going to be covered up afterwards so don't worry if it looks neat, you just want the ears to be stuck on, you don't want them coming off. There we go. So next we're going to attach the legs. So check the height that you're happy with that height. And then this is when you really are going to have to do some firm needle felting. Really want these legs attached properly. All the attachment bits are going to be covered up with wool, so don't panic about it looking neat at the top. Check the height, keep standing him up. And again, as with the ears or with anything else, if you're not happy, you can just pull it off and start again. Last leg, looking good, all about the same length. There we go, looks silly doesn't it? We need, we need some coat. So we're going to take some grey wool, pull it out about sort of three inches in length and then through the middle start needle felting it in nice and firm and that's all you're going to be doing to attach it. And then just keep doing this all over the body, it doesn't have to be really close it just has to be fairly close to the next one. I tend to do the underside first just because it's easier and leave it all fluffy and sticking out we're going to tidy it afterwards and then have a good look any gaps you can just fill in at the end. So keep going all the way over. See there's a gap there so I could just fill that bit in. So we're going to do the rest of the body and there he is looking a bit silly. So what you do is you take the needle, oh yeah don't forget under the chin, that's an important place as well. You take the needle, small circular motions and just push the wool in a tiny bit, not firmly, just a little bit. You could trim with scissors, it's up to you, but I think this is a nice effect that this creates. Um, I also do a Herdwick with a natural wool, I'll show you at the end, and I also do a special twisty which I'm going to do videos on in the future. So this sheep should take you about half an hour to an hour to do, maybe a bit longer. It depends on how long you've been needle felting, but he's a very simple, cute little herdwick. 
nearly done. It's like he's gone to the barbers and he's just been neatened up. So one bit missing now, I'm going to do the top of the head. Um, some people like to do, you could do grey, but I just think the white looks better. Um, so take some white, needle felt it in the middle. I tend to do it more towards the back and then just fold it forwards and give him a, a couple of little felts to keep it in. And then any long straggly bits just trim up. So if you like this video, subscribe for more and give me a thumbs up. I'll show you my two little other sheep at the end, but thank you for watching.